Nah, hello everyone, no respawns here. I've missed you. Sorry about yesterday. I actually had no video ready, to be honest. It happened again. I was going to do a RimWorld video, but I just couldn't really think of anything. Got a Sunless Sea review of sorts tomorrow. And then, which will be Thursday after that, will be a, another Fallout video. And then F Civilization 6 content, people, which I have dozens upon dozens of videos planned. So it's going to be grand. I'm so excited for that game. <laughs> Sorry in advance if I just forget to upload for three months and just disappear off the internet. Um, if it makes you feel any better, I will be playing as England and making a, 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 a just massive English empire again. But a nice one, not, not a dickish one like we had in the past. Anywho, so this is the gatehouse for Finch Farm. It's a little gatehouse. It looks very cool though. You're going to like it. Um, it's a bit more of a shorter video this time because I hadn't done... Most of my videos were about 20 minutes long recently. Doctor likes to just get in my way. That and his stupid bloody Brahmin gets in the way as well. It's a really simple technique. I... Because I've made bigger gatehouses before, but this one, it kind of uses a lot of stuff that I've done before. As you see, I've used the prefab, and I put the uh, shack up a uh, shack up a floor and roof thingamabob to allow me to snap on a floor onto the top. And here we are. I sunk it. Now, okay, I could have, and I didn't, and I probably should have, actually attached walls to the left, the sides of this. Because I have a little bit of a, a moment trying to figure out what to actually do. But I don't. But it's alright, what we do is fine. It looks a little bit ramshackle. I like this, see, I just like these little set pieces. Like me, I always mention this one of those things I just kind of rehash constantly. But it's all about the set pieces. It's all about, okay, where's my eye going to be drawn? So my eye's going to be drawn on the entrance. Okie dokie. I keep the walls reasonably unadventurous in a lot of ways. And then I just have something which kind of draws the eye. I'm going to make it a little bit more colourful when we do the tour. There is also a turret on the top as well. Um, I don't actually power it, just the record, because that I, I would I was gonna do it. And I was like, right, we have to build a power room, and then I have to actually connect everything. And I haven't even thought that far ahead on this place yet. I still don't have to do on the elevator. Some of you guys made some really good suggestions in the last video, by the way, about adding some details on. I'm thinking of maybe building some housing on the side and mixing up the materials, just making it a wee bit colourful. See what I do here, right? This is me being an idiot. I'll just not really being an idiot, that's a bit extreme, but I'm just not really paying attention and thinking, why is the wall the half size? Because obviously I'm trying to match it to the scaffolding, not the actual thing. And here's where I realise and go, oh yeah. So that was fun. That that That's my little bit of confusion here. The weather wasn't too bad this time around. I think because I was building at the front of the building rather than kind of at the front of the settlement rather, not at the back where it's all under the bridge. So I don't have to worry about the sunshine disappearing so much, which is pretty grand. I had to move this around a little bit because I need to put the scaffolding on. It's pretty cool. I've got to do lots of turrets for this place. Lots and lots and lots and lots of turrets. Oh, we are going to be going back to... After the next Fallout video is going to be at... Nuka World. The Red Rocket. Don't worry. Don't worry. You, I've, got, I've got you there. I'm not going to... I haven't forgotten about it. Um, but... I just wanted to... Just kind of at least... Not finish this, but finish the walls. I'll also give you a nice little, kind of, shorter build video. I'm going to be doing another, along to what we're doing this boring part, because a lot of this is very standard. It's just showing you the motion. But I'm going to try and get back into doing a few of those, um, kind of three things builds, like I do with my guard houses, all that jazz. But I just haven't really thought of anything good recently, so I'm going to have a ponder. I should better think of something. Maybe just new shops. Probably the, the best way. We'll, we'll do new shops. I like doing new shops. New shops are always grand. Always about the new shops. I don't want to get rid of this junk pile. You see that junk pile right here? Not going to get rid of that. To the point where I might actually try and glitch some things in so it looks junkier. I'm thinking of just sinking a load of junk, uh, the tires, junk fences in. And loads of kind of bits and pieces so it just looks a little bit... Because I like the scraps pile. Now I... With the junk fences, right? You see, what you're going to do right here is I use this as the doorway. I've just started to pretty much swear by reverse junk fences. It's just such a nicer look. Because you basically get the effect of a junk fence. But the problem is when, when those supports are on the inside. Obviously, technically, it makes more sense at times. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. But it just looks so good on the outside like that. It looks so grand. Oh, I love it. It's fantastic. See, so this is where I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is where Davey realized he'd fucked up. Because basically, I, 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 what I should have done, I do this instead. It actually looks pretty cool, so I'm okay with it. Because we put um, some supporting bits on the side anyway. Some uh, kind of the, the big thick tire ones. But at the same time, I'm like, 
I didn't. I, I didn't need to. It didn't. It didn't need to be like this, everyone. It, it didn't need to. So basically, when if or when you do kind of use this technique, um, just 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 put some walls on before you sink it into the thing, like I did. Or I could have taken the walls off the side and and then put it on. Basically, there were there were lots of options available for me, but I opted for the most awkward of them all because I'm a unique, special little snowflake and therefore have to be unique and special and do weird and wonderful things because. I am a complete little prick. I don't know. Anyway, I kind of wish we had another one of these. See, because you'll see it here, right? I wish we had. I wish we had one of these tire, um, junk fancy things, but flipped. Because the reason being, like this technique is really good. Like putting like that, so it's kind of. I've done it with. If you those remember my starlight barricade when we've reinforced that entrance to the bus, people who are paying attention would remember that, and. It looks really good because you've got the tires pressing against the side. But the problem is if I do it on the other side, it doesn't look as good. Also, that one there, I'm well aware that I've put way too close. It's actually sinking through the wall. Don't worry, we do sort it out. I left the rug there, so I can just use the pillar to pick it up again. But it just occurred as I was saying that thought that when mods, when mods block the PS4, and if someone on Xbox or PC could tell me if this is possible or not, we could effectively just... Someone could... Could someone flip this? You know how, like, you flip a picture? This is me. Technical language. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, like, flip something, right? Could you just literally flip one of these walls? Because as stupid as it sounds, it would actually open up loads of different... Because it would... Because these are really good for, like, adding kind of one junk to the side of a building. Like, that technique looks really good. You'll see it in the tour. Right? I've cut this down a little bit because there were lots of bullshit. Had lots of sleeping and changing the weather, as you probably get already. Um, but it would be cool to be able to do that. Just kind of these... Little things, little things. But if, if if you can do that, can someone do that for when it comes to PS4 and mods? Well, whenever it does, you know, in, in 2000. Well, when we've probably started playing Red Dead Redemption 2, um, that's when we're probably going to get PS4 mods. They are coming! <laughs> but not yet. <laughs> there are little things that I want. See, this is me just, just, just didn't, I just didn't need to do this. I, just, I could have just put a wall there. Not had any of the trouble that I'm having now. Got that wall there. Could have just, could have just had a wall. Could have just put it on. It's all right. Don't worry. It looks good though. Um, I think I'm gonna have to put loads of turrets here. Loads of turrets because this place, um, here in the slog and County Crossing as well. Any of these areas, kind of just on the outskirts of Boston, but on the east side of the map, the enemies are really high level, and because I'm. I think I'm level uh, either close to a level 100 or over level 100 now with this character. They're they're not too tough for me to deal with. You know, I have obviously you know I have very high level weapons and very high level stats. However, they are a complete pain in the ass for my settlers to deal with, and they're just bullet sponges. It just tends to kind of be tedious. So I find I use the heavy um, laser turrets, which just make ridiculous short work of them. Those of you remember my slog video, we've got that whole wall of turrets at the back, which is one of the spawning points. The front and the back. The front less so because they've got a little bit of cover, but on the back those, any super mutants especially to attack that, they get slaughtered before I can even get over to the back of the settlement. This is me on jet. You know, taking out the ones at the front and quickly running around. By the time I've quickly jet killed everyone, the... All of the super mutants normally, actually. Super mutant warlords, whatever they are. They're all just absolutely shredded. It's beautiful. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. I think because they have a lot more height at the back as well. Because I put them on quite large scaffolding. Like, they're about as high as these walls, so they have quite a nice field of fire. So you can see, it's quite a little simple little build. It's a nice little technique. And just, as you can probably see already, like, this has taken quite a while. So it would have, you know, it would have added... Not double the length, but it would have definitely added a third of the length onto the next video. And it has this nice bunker look as well. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? It does. I likes it. I'm just going to take the thing. It's really close to the edge of the build area. Well. I've recommended this before, but you should never build walls this close to the edge of the build area. Because if you do, it's just going to... It's just going to go wrong, really. Like you're gonna, I mean, this one, the, pro the issue with Finch Farm is how close it is. Um, but we do... You just have to kind of... Yeah... You just have to accept it here, but normally you want it a little bit, you know, you want to give it, you want to basically have enough room to rug glitch something in. I don't show you me putting the turret stand because it's literally just a scaffolding with freaking these things just placed next to it. It's a bit boring. Plus it's not powered yet. So we go. 
Here we go. La -da -da -da. I'm going to snap these on first as well. Didn't think. Didn't think. But it's alright. It looks a little bit haphazard. It's cool ground. I'm okay with it. And you should be too. So what's next? Just a couple of more railings. Boop. Doesn't, doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. But it's alright. But I put some concrete ones on there. As you can see. I like these. These are good. Because they mix well with wood. And also they snap onto everything. It's pretty grand. Right. I think the tour's next. Yes, so here it is. It's quite a small one, simple build. Hope you guys like it, maybe make use of it yourself. You can see it breaks up that wall section as well. Now the wall section doesn't look so spindly because it's got this massive support at the front. Looks like a badass bunker as well. We're going to have so more of those turrets popping up. Anyway, I'm going to have, as I said, a little bit of a indie game review tomorrow. Um, and then a full-up video afterwards, then we're back with them on the Civ 6 videos. As always, follow me on Twitter, at no respawns. Want to see what I'm up to? See all the people I'm getting... <laughs> arguments with on Twitter <laughs> um, and I'll talk to you lovely people soon you take care